Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you eight ways to make money from affiliate marketing. So if you're struggling to find ways to promote your affiliate marketing business, if you're trying to make a full-time income from that or even part-time, I'm going to show you a lot of the better strategies that you can use to get the traffic you need to your links so that you can actually make a lot of commissions. The first way is through YouTube and this has become more popular because YouTube is now the second largest site in the world in terms of traffic and there are three main types of videos that do particularly well with affiliate marketing. They are reviews, comparisons which are very similar to reviews and tutorials. So um, you could review the affiliate product make that the subject of your video and then have the affiliate link in your description compare two different products have the affiliate links in the description and do a tutorial of how to use a product or do something else involving that product and have the link in the tutorial in the uh, description so one example would be like if you looked up a host gator review um, they have a big affiliate program and you'll notice um, one of the top results for HostGator review, HostGator review for WordPress hosting plus full tutorial 2016. And you can go and see how to use it, 38 minute video, very in depth. Um, they review it, they show you how to put it to use, make a website with it. And then in the first sentence of the description, you'll notice that there is a uh, link to the I don't know why I just did that. Um, a link to the um, affiliate link, or even if it's not an affiliate link, it probably is though, uh, because they pay a lot for their affiliates. So you can do that. Just make helpful videos. Do not be biased. Don't do stuff just to make money. Do stuff that actually helps people. Try to do a better, more in-depth review than the competition. You'll do a lot better. You can also compare like HostGator versus you know, WP Engine or HostGator versus West Host or HostGator versus Bluehost. There's a lot of different hosting companies you could compare it to and do videos like that. So you have a lot of different subjects you could cover just for one different product. You could compare it to all its different competitors, do a standalone review, and do a tutorial of how to use it. Another example would be a tutorial. You can look up this video by Pat Flynn. You know him from smart passive income and he does one about how to build a blog in less than four minutes and write your first blog post and he does it with Bluehost hosting but it's a helpful video that shows you how to set up a blog quickly and then he has his um, affiliate link in the first sentence right here as you can see so that's how you could do that through YouTube. Those are a few examples. Review, comparison, and tutorial videos are probably the best way to do it. The second way is through blogging. And one example of doing this is uh, Frugal for Less uh, money making blog. They talk about apps, they talk about survey sites, stuff like that, how to start a blog, um, all kinds of different categories that usually have to do with money. But uh, this is an example you could do like a list post on a, as a blog post and do um, a review or just a list of the top apps you could do like top 10 apps top 10 you know hosting services top 10 you know smartphones of 2017 whatever and then have your affiliate link um, or your referral code in there you see their referral code they have an affiliate link probably right there. You know, you can click on here, go to their affiliate link, affiliate link. So they'll do a couple of affiliate links per um, post on here through the list. But it's a helpful blog post that gives you all the in-depth details about these products. Another example, you could do like a review blog post like they did on Shout Me Loud of TubeBuddy, which is a free tool or paid depending on which account you get that allows you to do a lot of uh, things with YouTube so a lot of youtubers you to use uh, TubeBuddy he teaches you how to use it very helpful post very detailed 
and um, then he includes his affiliate link you know probably around the bottom create an account on YouTube there's a button right here with uh, their discount coupon and usually that means they give an affiliate link so it helps you you get a discount you see how to use it you see all the details but they also get the affiliate link so everybody wins and that's the whole point you want everybody to win when you do these types of posts um, if you need to set up a blog I have a page at start a blog on selfmadesuccess.com how to start a WordPress blog in three steps um, that'll cost you about three or four dollars a month to run that blog but it'll be on WordPress meaning it's pretty much the best platform for building a professional blog pretty much the most customization and everything um, you could also try website builders like Wix or Weebly or something like that uh, Pinterest is the third way I want to show you and this is kind of new a lot of people don't know about this but um, Pinterest actually re-enabled affiliate links on Pinterest because they realize that a lot of people use Pinterest and um, they need to make a living online to keep using it so instead of you know outlawing affiliate links on their images and stuff they re-enabled it so to do an affiliate link on an image on Pinterest obviously you need to post an image first you post the image then you get your link let's say you know you, you're using Amazon you go up to your affiliate um, stripe the gray stripe site stripe whatever they call it at the top get the text link for whatever page you're on it'll do something like this copy go to Pinterest go to whatever um, pen you just did recently go to the pencil which means edit pin and then where it says website you would replace that with your affiliate link and then press save okay so if you you want to have like a picture of the product some words on the image that explain what it is um, very easily like something short and sweet like you know best robot vacuum or blah 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 whatever you want to do but um, you want to have like some sort of description you don't want to just post a picture of the product and that's it because then people are like okay what do I care um, so do that and then you change the website to your affiliate link so then now you can post affiliate like product reviews and stuff like that and they go straight to the affiliate link if they're interested so that's how you do that with Pinterest Another thing you can do if, is like a gift ideas or like a product ideas website. You could do gift ideas. You could do something. You could do like niche sites related to holidays. You could do um, product ideas for like tech, you know, like the top tech products or new tech products dot com or something. I don't know if that's taken or not, but um, you could do something like that and structure it kind of like how this site does it. It's called this is why I'm broke .com. and what they do is a lot of just weird off the wall products that are cool that you may not know about. Just stuff that's not mainstream. It's stuff that's you know either futuristic or um, just kind of different or like gag gifts, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of gift ideas and stuff. So like if you were looking at this, the automatic clothes ironing machine, which is really cool it shows you some images and a video of how it works a short description and a button here where you can get it now sometimes these are affiliate links sometimes they're not a lot of times they go to an Amazon product with an affiliate link and they can make money from that so you could do stuff like that you could do like a two sentence description very easily you don't have to be a writer to do that you can even uh, just reword the description from the Amazon post or something post some images in a video of what it does if possible and then have you want to have the price usually you'll have the price on there um, like if you did this one like an app controlled paper airplane kit it shows you the price it shows you a description some images of what it looks like and a page where you can check it out um, it might be on Kickstarter it might be on Amazon but 
a lot of times it'll be uh, some sort of affiliate link or something if they are smart about it. So um, that's another thing you can do. You can do like an ideas thing where you're not really blogging because you're barely writing anything, but you're doing just a few ideas a day and then eventually you get a lot of traffic like this is why I'm broke.com and can get a lot of affiliate sales. Another thing you can do is write ebooks. And um, ebooks can work very well while still having affiliate links within them. So if you're writing a book on how to do something or you know something like that, then um, what you can do, let's say you do, let's say you're using Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So you're on the Word page, you know, you type your book out, you have it done, just a short and sweet ebook on how to do something specific, like some sort of nonfiction book. Um, and then you have your affiliate links in there. So let's say, you know, here's my affiliate link and I embed it in some words, you know. So you could do that and have some links. Go here to do this, go here to do that. For more, uh, for my recommended products, do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, you just make sure it flows, make sure it's helpful within the book. But to make the links actually clickable in an ebook, you need to have a certain format, which would be EPUB. So if you're going to publish it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble or something as an ebook, you want it to be EPUB format. So you can go to online-converter.com, and they have an ebook um, converter for converting your Word document, your PDF, etc., to EPUB. That's the one I like to use to convert it. Um, if you want like a course on how to rank books and how to sell books on Amazon and stuff like that while interconnecting them and using affiliate links in them and stuff, this is the best course I've seen. It's called K-Money Mastery 2.0. Um, I would recommend that. It's a ClickBank product. Um, you can also find it at selfmadesuccess.com slash K dash money dash mastery. I'll have all these links in the show notes for you. But um, I took this course, K Money Mastery, and it was very helpful for me for my Amazon side of the business. So um, I would recommend that if you want to learn more about books. I can't cover all of that in this video, it'd be way too long. Um, resource pages that's another strategy you could do. So you may have noticed on my blog I have a resource page where I talk about the things that I use. Some of them are affiliate links, some of them are not. Not every product you endorse is going to have an affiliate program. Um, another couple of examples of very well-known websites that do this. Uh, Entrepreneur on Fire at eofire.com has a resource page, as you can see in the menu. They have you know products that they've created, but they also have other products as well that they endorse like Bluehost is an affiliate program and stuff like that. Um, another example would be smartpassiveincome.com. They have a resource page as you can see here. And these are some of the tools he uses and has affiliate links for Bluehost, Lead Pages, ConvertKit, Samcart, stuff like that. Um, and some themes for WordPress and all those types of things. So if you use a product online or a service and you actually like it, you should create a resource page, have your affiliate links. Um, and just, by the way, make sure you have uh, a disclaimer at the bottom. Like I have a disclaimer at the bottom of the page here. It says some of the pages have affiliate links, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, you have to tell people that some of the links are affiliate links on the page because legally you have to do that otherwise people might think oh well they just care about getting sales I do stuff that I actually use but some people have a bad habit of doing stuff they've never even used before and um, you know they'll have an affiliate link for it just to make money so make sure you have that disclaimer at the bottom also you can do this with email marketing there's actually a really good example of one thing that you could do um, that Tim Ferriss does first of all you need an email marketing software to do this to collect emails from your blog your YouTube channel whatever you need something that collects the emails you know what I mean it puts it all in a database for you so I use get response I like get response a lot um, I've also used Aweber and there's also MailChimp there's Infusionsoft if you really want to get the highest end one but get response is very affordable 
and has pretty much everything you could possibly need. They're always updating and improving as well. So you can email to people, which is still one of the most profitable ways to market online. You can create an email kind of like Tim Ferriss does. He has this thing called Five Bullet Friday, where he'll every Friday he'll talk about five like different things that he's looking at. And I don't know how often he actually uses affiliate links in these things, but you can definitely do it um, and make good affiliate income from this without having to do long articles and blog posts and videos and stuff like that. So like if you were to do something like this, you could do like every, let's say you did every Friday, you did a few things that are, you know, your favorite products of the week or something. So um, you could do like he does stuff like I'm drinking this, I'm listening to this, I'm watching this. This is a quote I'm pondering, stuff like that. Um, instead of that, you could do like your top few products. Like this is my favorite app of the week. This is my favorite um, business service of the week, blah, blah, blah. And then you could have your affiliate links as these links that you see here. So that would be an example. If you want to see more examples of how Five Bullet Friday works and that kind of thing, um, just opt in to the... Uh, the uh, subscription at tim.blog it's very easy to uh, subscribe to his email list and last but not least linkedin so if you don't want to like start your own website um, you could do articles and videos and stuff on linkedin so um, if you have a linkedin profile which a lot of people do you just click here write an article and this is a great way to rank in google using LinkedIn's very popular domain and also uh, use your LinkedIn connections to get traffic. So you would do it just like any other WordPress blog post. You know, you have your title, you have your main content here. Um, you know, and once you kind of do like a review or a comparison or something like that, you could do check out the product here or something and then make that a link. All you do, you highlight it, press the link button, put your Amazon or whatever link in there, apply it, and it'll turn blue. And there you go. You have clickable affiliate links, and you're using LinkedIn to do your uh, to get traffic instead of an actual blog that requires you to have hosting and all that stuff. So that's it for this video and the eight ways to do affiliate marketing. If you got something from this video, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about it, um, if you want to let me know some other ways to make money from affiliate marketing that I didn't mention, or you know, let me know about some stuff you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I know others watching would as well. And I'll get the links that I mentioned, examples, resources related content to this video on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com soon also get a link in the video description to that page soon for you as well so other than that i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you have a great day